Yeah. Um, we've okay. Just... Hold on. Hold on a second. Okay. Start now. Bliss? Yes. What What is happening now? We've got now three elephants in yeah. the shambo. So what What's going to happen next? Yeah. Actually, I've just called KWS. What is KWS? Kenya Wildlife Service. Hold on a sec. Now go. These are elephants on their way into a shamba to feed. Um, it's twilight, so they're heading out of the bush and into the farms. Um, this is only three elephants, but as they travel, you can see the dust they're kicking up. Just their trampling um, can actually cause a lot of damage to the crops. Okay, well in the classroom we try and give students the theory behind research, the theory behind why we do research and how we do research. We give them some of the tools for conducting research. Um, tools like, for example, uh, knowing how to use statistics. In the field, students actually conduct research. The best way of teaching anybody to do anything is obviously by having them do it. So when I take students to South Africa or I take students to Kenya, I'm taking them there so they can learn all about how to do research. And how to do research isn't just the statistics, isn't just the theory, it's how to manage people, how to manage budgets, um, how to deal with situations where things don't quite go the way you want them to. Uh, that's how you produce a researcher. You produce them by showing them how to do it, not simply by teaching them the mechanics of doing it. Simon Kasaini, one of my graduate students, he's a Kenyan who's currently living in Kenya and finishing his master's thesis uh, through WKU. Okay, Western Kentucky University uh, is doing and has done a lot of things in uh, this area of Kasigao. Kasigao is actually a, a corridor of elephants moving or going to Savo East and Savo West National Park. Based on the data that we have, m most farms have shown that elephant increasingly crop preyed on corn, that is maize, we call it maize here. And also there are these villages that are adjacent to the bush edge or the forest edge, they are mostly prone to human-elephant conflict. quite opportunistically because uh, we don't know when the elephant will strike. So we depend on the farmers to actually call us. And sometimes they call us at night. And because of the mode of transport that we have, probably the motorbikes that we have, so we really have to calculate and uh, see whether we can go at night or not. But <laughs> there is little excitement in this because it's just anxiety. You don't know when the elephant will just come from or, you, yeah, kind of. But the farmers again really expect us to go and I'm also intending to help the people here uh, with the know-how and the knowledge that I've gained through my bachelor. Well, research is different depending on what discipline you're in. In the sciences, research is basically discovering new information, creating new knowledge using the scientific method. And we think it's the most powerful way of discovering new knowledge, of knowing things.